Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to find yourself a good balance point on the spear. I consider this to be a pretty neutral position right here. The arm's all the way back. I don't have the arm too far back. It's not too far forward. And it's probably, probably about halfway behind me. And the front arm's also not completely extended. It's not completely in. It's about right here. So this is what I consider to be my normal uh, spear fighting stance if I'm actively engaged with somebody. Okay, once you've established what your uh, normal fighting stance is going to be, you have to have what I would call a relaxed stance or a resting state as you're still engaged. There are three different methods I like to use uh, when in the resting state. One is to have the arms completely extended. And the way this works is that squeezing onto the spear, I don't have to squeeze too tight, but that's what holds the spear up. It's not this arm physically pushing it up, it's holding it together. So this would be a, a resting position. Okay, the next resting position is to take your elbow, bring your arm all the way in and even cock your elbow against your body. Okay, this is a much easier position than holding it here. You can try this on your own. Okay, the third position is with the arms completely straight down. Um, this is the weakest of the three positions, but it's also uh, the most relaxing of the three positions. So an arm down position might be if there's not really a threat too close to you, but you still are engaged with the enemy. Regardless of which relaxed position you use, understand that when you go into a more relaxed position, you're gonna be less effective as a fighter. I think it benefits you to take um, six to 12 inches back from the line to give yourself a little bit more of a, a defense um, until you've recovered yourself and then you're gonna go back up to the line with your normal stance. Okay, probably the most important thing you can do uh, to keep your arms from getting tired is to not hold the spear um, in a fighting position when you're not fighting. So if I'm walking across the field to get to the enemy, I typically am going to hold my spear here, okay? I might hold it here. I might even drag it a bit. I might hold it up like this. Rotate in and out of the fighting. Okay, if there's situations where other people can be doing the fighting, this typically occurs in resurrection battles, this typically occurs in any sort of static line battle, uh, where there's a choke point or maybe a bridge battle. So what you want to do is you want to stand up there and fight. And when you're on the front line, you should be actively fighting and you should be getting tired. And then when you're done, you step back, let someone else in. And when you're back, just sit here and rest until it's your turn to come up to the front again. Um, if there's archers on the other side, I would even get down to your knee if you have the room to do that uh, so that they don't, so you don't catch any arrows that come past the front rank. So if you find yourself getting tired, so here I'm being aggressive, you can stand up straight a bit, drop to a more relaxed stance. And again, when you do this, take a step back so that you're a little bit further out of their range. Another tip is that when you're fighting, um, I like to fight in spurts. So I might have a spurt while I'll fight pretty aggressively for 10 to 20 seconds. And the most important tip in all of this is of course, the more you fight, the more you practice, the better in shape you're gonna get, the stronger your arms are gonna be, the better you're gonna be at finding good positions to keep yourself from getting tired.